hold out your hand and take a look at your palm. Does it feel like you're holding up anything there? Maybe not, but you're actually holding about 200 pounds of air in your hand right now. Hi, my name is Allison Bales with Energy Vanguard, and today I'm going to talk to you about air. Something really interesting, not only in its own right, because we breathe a lot of it, but also in building science, it's very important in terms of air leakage and moving air through a heating and air conditioning system and things like that. So let's talk about air today and why you don't feel the 200 pounds of air in your hand. So air has weight, and when you hold out your hand, your hand is probably somewhere around 15 square inches. The pressure of air is about 14.7 pounds per square inch. So that's about two, roughly 200 pounds of air uh, is the weight of air above your hand from, from the palm of your hand to the top of the atmosphere, assuming you're at uh, sea level. You've got about 200 pounds of air resting on, t on your hand. You don't feel it though, because air is creating this pressure pushing down on your hand uh, but it pushes in all directions. So there's also air pushing up on your hand with that same pressure. And those two forces, um, pressure is force per unit area, so the force on the top of your hand, about 200 pounds, is canceled out by the force pushing up on the bottom of your hand. 200 pounds pushing up, 200 pounds pushing down, you don't feel anything. Your muscles are, are fine. But we can show that air does have this pressure very easily. All we need to do is remove the, the, the pressure for, of air on, on one side. And I've got a, a nice little demonstration for you today called the beer can pressure crunch. Now let's take a look at this beer can pressure crunch. Here is a beer can with a little bit of water sitting on a hot electric burner on my stove. The water in there boils and water vapor and steam fill the can. I put the screw top back on and take it off the heat. Now the water vapor and, and steam are cooling. I speeded up the video here. The water vapor is condensing, which leaves less air in the can. We have a difference in pressure. Boom! The outside pressure is higher than the inside pressure. And the can is being crushed by the atmosphere. The air outside the can is crushing the can. Knocking it over even. It almost flattened the can completely. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this in slow motion, the exciting parts anyway. That's the first one. That's pretty cool. Okay, and now I've speeded it up. This next clip is about three times the actual speed. There you have it, the beer can pressure crunch. One example of these atmospheric pressures and pressure differences in the real world is this thing called the stack effect, where you have different pressures across the building enclosure, and you've got a pressure difference that leads to air leaking in at the bottom of a building and air leaking out at the top. That's the stack effect. The places where that air leaks in at the bottom and out at the top are holes, they're air leaks, and here's an example of one in a ceiling. You can see that a lot of air moved through that because the originally yellow insulation is now very, very dirty because that air leakage got filtered as it moved through the insulation, which I had pulled back to take that picture of the hole. Thanks for watching this little video. You can find more information in our blog, energyvanguard.com slash blog including a whole article about this very topic. I've got the link right here.